Brian found an industry that he was good at. It was an industry that uh, needed people who cared about the residents. Brian did that in spades. He uh, told me, he said, many times I was at the convention center at events and I would be walk by the uh, Business Hall of Fame uh, portraits and think, geez, I'll never make it there. So uh, I got a hold of Brian and I told him. And what he said was, the first thing was, Steve, you made my day. No, you made my month. No, you made my year. He could see the power of profit and private sector supporting not-for-profits, supporting communities, supporting arts and culture. And they were tremendous benefactors of so many different um, arts, culture, and community organizations. In fact, Brian, the company being 40 years old, there's a number of organizations that they supported for 40 years now. They were involved in everything. New Cody International Institute, the Millennium Center, I remember he was a big part of that when we built a new uh, big sports facility. The Hospital Foundation, Festival Antigonish, who wouldn't even be here without Brian. He did not come from a privileged start. Uh, he had a great big heart, and uh, someone gave him a hand up, and he passed that along a thousand times over the course of his lifetime. Brian was a very social person and uh, loved to meet people and expand his field of friends, I may say. And uh, that made a huge difference in not only his uh, personal life and his family life, but also his business life. From those very humble beginnings, where Brian was literally living in an apartment in one of the nursing homes. Now with the 14 locations, the future for the company is very bright. The Nova Scotia government has recently entrusted us with five new nursing homes to be built over the next seven years. The first one opening later this year in Mahone Bay. And once again, that will allow us to reinforce our mission around providing quality care for seniors in the communities that they have chosen to live and work and ensure that uh, rural Nova Scotia has access to services for seniors. It was this commitment by Brian and his partner Irene and the family that has continued with the company today and will help the company continue to deliver on its core mission as part of the vital infrastructure for healthcare in Nova Scotia. Something that was a dream of his he never made it, but he was so pleased to know about what happened and uh, to know that he had uh, achieved the ability to get on that wall.